Ladies, April here for GrandDescent.com. Today we're going to discuss the eight imperative must-dos after a breakup. Did you know that 99.9% .9 of women have gone through at least one breakup? That's not a number we just made up. That's an actual statistic. We all handle breakups differently. Some are productive, some are not. Some help us move on, and others just hold us back. So I've compiled a list of imperative things that you must do and not do after you and your ex decide to call it quits. Number one, don't jump into the deep end, at least not the deep end of the dating pool, at least not just yet. You might be feeling lonely right now, but try to fill that void with family and friends rather than rebounding with some guy you've just met in the club. Try to stay away from dating, at least for a little while, until you feel better about the situation and yourself. You need to make sure that you're happy with yourself before you move on into another relationship. Otherwise, you might end up with someone who doesn't deserve you. Sadly, acting out of desperation and loneliness can do exactly that to you. Number two, good mood food. If you find yourself alone and your friends and family might be busy at the moment, or maybe you just want to be by yourself right now, why not try some healthy foods that make you feel happy? Try some chocolate, in moderation of course, or some walnuts, or anything that has a high B vitamin content, like leafy greens. These are known to be proven mood enhancers. My favorite thing to do when I need to center myself or get away from it all is to cuddle up with a good book and a nice cup of tea. High in vitamin B. Number three, other creature comforts. There are many short-term treatments to sadness and loneliness. Things that you can do if you find yourself feeling alone or just plain down in the dumps. Most examples involve things that will calm you. Remember, try not to wallow in your feelings of sadness and loneliness while you do these things. Take a long bath. Go for a walk. Write in your journal. Do some yoga. Meditate. Listen to music. Pick up a new hobby, something exciting, or perhaps something relaxing and calming. Whatever suits your personality. Learn something new. Take a class or attend a seminar. Or treat yourself out to a night at the movies. Ladies, you're your own best date. Number four, reinvent yourself. If you're looking to revamp yourself with a new haircut or maybe a new tattoo, something that just screams, this is the new me, maybe you should take pause for a moment before you do something that's permanent and long lasting. Try the makeup counter instead. It might not be able to heal your broken heart, but it'll certainly make you feel more confident during this vulnerable time. Number five, change your sheets. Ladies, I'm sure you're very hygienic and change your sheets frequently. But if you've lived together, those sheets could hold some bad juju. They have memories and good ones attached to them. Sheets don't have to be expensive. So if you're looking to buy something new to start anew, that may be the way to go. Number six, do let him go. And what I mean by let him go is don't Facebook stalk him or stalk him for real. It's not going to help you with your heartache, and it's not going to help you move on. It's just not healthy. So ladies, just say no to Facebook stalking your ex. Number seven, don't try to be just friends. I know you have a long history together and have shared some good times, but it's just not healthy to be friends, especially not so soon after the breakup. You need the time to be able to get over each other, and you just can't do that when you're friends. In fact, I wouldn't talk to him for a while. You may need to do some maintenance work, return some things, perhaps you shared a pet or furniture, and that's just fine. But aside from that, stay clear from him. Number eight, hang out with the girls. This is an important one. Your friends know who you are. They know how you cope. They know if you're going to do something stupid, and they've probably been there themselves. They know you, and they know how to help. You can vent to them. You can paint the town red with them. They can help you get your mind off things for a while. So be sad. Have some bonding time with the girls. But whatever you do, don't pretend that things are okay when they're not. Allow yourself to grieve in whatever way you need to. Cry, exercise, write in your journals. Whatever way you have, your friends will be there to help you and support you along the journey. And that's our tip of the day for you. For more success secrets for women, make sure you visit us at GrandDescent.com and join our community. Ladies, there's no other community like it in the world.